why should you use WordPress to build your junk removal website? With so many options out there, like Wix, Squarespace, Weebly, and things like that, why use WordPress? Let me see if I can convince you as to why you should do it. What's up there guys, Izzy here once again with Do-It-Yourself Junk Removal SEO where I help junk removal companies, dumpster rental companies, small business owners really understand the internet, understand search engine optimization so they can optimize and build their own websites to get them a bunch of traffic which equals more money for them in their pockets. And today I want to talk about what I believe is the best format to build your website if you are a business owner of a junk removal dumpster, dumpster rental company. It doesn't really matter the business. I feel that WordPress is just the best way to really build a good, solid, uh, great looking website. And it's taking me a very long time to figure that out. When I first started building websites, I started using something called Weebly about, I would say five, six, seven years ago, somewhere around there. I would experiment and build some real basic websites with Weebly. They came out okay and they ranked and all that stuff. This is just when I was learning. I always heard about WordPress and I knew it was better, but it just seemed so so complicated. But over the years, I figured out how to work with it, mess with it. I created my own templates now. And I have found, and I've also talked to many other people in SEO. I have some friends that I talk, we talk about this kind of stuff. And there's groups that I've joined and everybody's in unison. Everybody agrees that WordPress simply seems to rank better on WordPress. Google, it seems to us that Google really likes these types of websites. They'll never say it. There's never some kind of document that says we prefer WordPress websites, but we kind of see it. You can see how some websites will rank a much better when they're built on WordPress. And there's ways to figure out if a website in your area, for example, is built on web WordPress and see if it's ranking. So if you're living in a certain area and you see a business owner's website that's ranking really well in their area, there's a quick way to find out if it's actually built on WordPress. And let me show you how to do that. All you have to do is type in, is it WP onto Google? And you'll go to a website called, uh, is it WP, is it WordPress? And all you have to do is enter your competitor's website right here and see if it's actually built on, on WordPress. So I'm gonna show you an example here. This gentleman I'm helping with is SEO out in Poughkeepsie, New York. His website was built by the Junk Removal Authority. A lot of you guys have heard of that company. They're a big outfit that helps junk removal companies. I heard they charge somewhere around $10,000 for a website to get them all built out, uh, which I'm kind of cool with that. I, I kind of agree with that because it shows the person involved with that business is dead serious about making it happen. Like this gentleman right here who I'm helping out in Poughkeepsie. Um, I'm sure he spent way more money on just these two trucks than this website. I, I, I'm sure the website was a smaller budget compared to everything else that he's been spending. So I'm helping with this SEO. But just to show you that even the junk removal authorities built their websites for their customers using WordPress. Just type it in here, hit the analyze, and right there it tells you uh, Junk Pros New York is using WordPress. And there's other big, big corporate websites like this one, a big one, Load Up. I've seen their websites. Um, type it in here. <clears throat> Let's see real quick. And you'll see that's also built on WordPress. I've heard, I've seen this company right here. Seems like a pretty big place, pretty, uh, they mean business when it comes to junk removal. Let's see if they're built with WordPress as well. Paste it on there. I am not a robot. Yep. It's built on WordPress. And what I like most about WordPress is that it makes it really easy to fix up your site, create your site. Once you have a good template and a good theme, um, I try to use the most basic possible because I know you guys are in the junk removal business. You guys are busy with so many other things, getting your name out there with the building, the work, the truck, the, I mean, everything. Why waste so much time fiddling around with a website if you make it as easy as possible makes it easy for you guys to come in and fiddle around with certain things like that uh, but that's why I've created this template myself where you can just upload and just pretty much just copy and you can build out your website just like this and it makes all the SEO super simple um, and you could add something called widgets something like this right here where you could just include your uh, 
your Google reviews onto your site. All you do is plug it, put, pop in a quick little plugin, and it populates it on your website, makes it look really nice. And setting up an email form is pretty easy. Um, it's pretty straightforward, and Google really likes these WordPress websites. And let me show you another one. It's just how easy it is to actually mess with and you know fiddle around and fix things up uh, with using something called Elementor, the website builder for it. It makes it super easy. So let's go on to the actual website. So here's the, the back end of a WordPress website. Uh, it seems complicated, but it really isn't. Once you fiddle around with it for a while, it's not that difficult to do. And here's all the pages built out for this site. Um, so if you want to just edit one of these pages, for example, let's say his uh, construction debris removal page, you could click on edit with Elementor and you'll see there's this page right here. And you just click on things like this and you could change the background of the picture here. You could change out this picture if you want. You could change out your text really easy, either on here or over here. Here's your button. You can change the color of your button just like this. Let's take a look. You can change the color of your button, Let's, like the text of your button, change it to black. Whoops, I'm sorry, that's the, the headline there. Change that back to white. But little things like that. Okay, let's go to the button now. Style. Let's go to the text of the button. Text color. Change it to black. See? Just like that. It takes a little time fiddling around, but once you got it built, you're, you should be set. You don't really have to mess with it too much. Um, so it, it makes it really easy. And then you go in here in settings. This is the Yoast SEO plugin that I use. And this makes it easy to edit your SEO information. Just right here. So it makes everything super easy. And then once your website's set up, you just update it and save it. And your website will look you know, nice and professional, make it look good. And you can change the colors. You could do so much stuff with it. And with time, it makes it super easy to really build your website and get it all fixed up and make it look nice. And these days, it's easier than ever. I'll show you quick examples with GoDaddy to get a WordPress website set up. It's super simple. I know GoDaddy, a lot of people gravitate to GoDaddy. It's, it, they've branded themselves really, really well. The only problem is people end up using the GoDaddy website builder, which pff, sucks. I really think it sucks. But you can still use GoDaddy's and GoDaddy's hosting. So a lot of SEO people, website builders, don't like GoDaddy. I can understand it because they're messing with a million different sites. You just got your one site, your business, and GoDaddy's easy to get a hold of on the phone and the chat. And if you have any problems with your website, that's why I just recommend GoDaddy. It's easy to deal with. But just go into GoDaddy. Uh, this is their homepage. Go to WordPress right here. Click on that, and you'll see Managed WordPress. This is the one you want. Ignore all this other crap. Just get to Managed WordPress, and then you'll get your options right here, your Basics, Deluxe, Ultimate Pro. Just go with Managed, I mean, at the Ultimate. Click on that, and it's usually, I don't know, somewhere around 200 to 250 depending on they have sales and stuff like that. But 24 months, let's say 20, let's do one year. Click on that. Yeah, it's 227 right now. And if you don't have a domain name, usually when you purchase this, they'll give you a free domain name as an added bonus. Um, and then that's it. You're set up. You hit continue. And now you have managed WordPress as one of your products in your GoDaddy account. You just go in there and you uh, set it up. It kind of walks you how you threw it. And then eventually, if you want, like for myself, you could get my course that shows you how to build your own website, do your own SEO. And in my course, I have the template. You could just upload the template and just you fill in the blanks and start building out your website and really mess with it and just get in the no elementor and get it all fixed up the main theme i like to use is hello elementor it's like the most bare bones basic theme there is out there and the reason i use it because it is easy you guys are in the business of junk removal not website and website design you guys just want to get your website up and get things going and you know get this thing all set up for you guys so WordPress, I still recommend WordPress. I know there's Squarespace, Wix, uh, and I have ranked websites like Wix before and other just oddball looking websites. Even Squ Squarespace is the one I really mess with too much. I have just transferred some over from other people, but that one seems pretty limited. It seems more like it's for like, I don't know, a hair salon place, um, 
somebody who does yoga or something like this, yoga instructor. It just seems, I don't seem to like it too much. But if you're going to build a WordPress, I would go with WordPress all the way. It's the best website builder, I think. It's the one that Google likes the most. And I would strongly recommend it for any business. Uh, if you're a junk removal, dumpster rental, you clean carpets, uh, you're a concrete contractor, asphalt paving, I would use WordPress and just go with GoDaddy. Make it nice and easy. So that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys want information about my course, some of the things I do. Uh, if you want some of the, me to do some of the stuff for you, build out your website, do your SEO. I have links here at the bottom of this video. And you can check them out. And that's all I got for you guys. Until next time.